they choose to breed katahdins? Well, primarily because they don't have wool. So are they naked? No, you can see that they're not. They actually grow a thick hair in the winter that looks a lot like wool, but it sheds in the summer all by itself. In the end, they kind of look a little bit like a goat in the summer. There's not a whole lot of market for wool, and the cost to hire someone to shear, it doesn't make financial sense, and honestly, I don't want to be shearing sheep. It's a lot of work, and I really don't know how to do it very well either. Katahdins are really hardy sheep that are about as low maintenance as you can get. They usually lamb right out in pasture, even in the winter. They tolerate both cold and heat well. They're resistant to parasites and they don't need their feet to be trimmed as often as other breeds. They can usually have their first lambs around 12 months old, and at least after the first year of lambing, they can have twins and sometimes triplets or more. One fun thing that I really love about Katahdins is that they can come in so many colors. There's brown, there's black, red, white, and the varieties of speckles and dots all in between. There are other hair sheep breeds, um, and they have similar characteristics like the parasite resistance. But since some of my neighboring farmers also raise Katahdins, it was easier for me to purchase a starter flock. And later down the road, um, it's gonna be easier to share rams to prevent inbreeding. So one of us will buy a ram, the other one will buy a ram, and then the following year we'll swap to prevent an inbreeding. So thanks for joining me on this series. And if you wanna see more, you know what to do, share and subscribe. Talk to you later.